Hi, my name is Michael Fox. I work at the River Church in Holly, Michigan. I uh, wanted to give you a quick overview of how I use the Stream Deck uh, button controller. It um, honestly is a really great um, tool in my workflow, so I just wanted to share how I use it. Hopefully it can help somebody else out there. So here is the Stream Deck. There's a couple different versions. Um, there's a smaller button version, and uh, there's also a larger button version. I have um, two, two different sizes myself. I use a couple in, in our building. So um, basically what this is is you can uh, link it to all sorts of third-party software and apps. Um, and then it's just a button controller, so you can have a button do one thing. You can stack uh, actions and have one button do several things. So um, what you'll need is the Stream Deck button controller. You can find that anywhere on Amazon. And then it comes with its own software, but uh, to control most of the stuff I use, you need a third-party app called Companion. So here it is here. Uh, BitFocus makes it. It's called the Companion. Um, so you download that and install it, and then I'm going to show you a little bit of how I use it and how you configure it. So once you download that companion app um, and open it, you'll end up here. You can add uh, all sorts of um, software and apps um, in here. So I'm not currently connected to mine. That's why you're seeing all sorts of errors. But uh, I use mine for uh, to control my Blackmagic ATEM video switcher. I use it to control my Blackmagic video hub. So I have a hub that routes all of my uh, video in our building. I use it to control our Grand MA light board. And then I use it to control three different ProPresenter computers. And I also use it to control Mad Mapper. So uh, quite a bit of things that I'm doing there. So once you add in all of your uh, hardware and software, you can put in IP addresses and all the ways to connect uh, to them here. So for instance, under ProPresenter, you just put in the IP address of ProPresenter, the ProPresenter port. You have to have the network uh, feature enabled in ProPresenter for this to work, and then give it a password. Uh, it's pretty much that simple. Now you can control ProPresenter, so we'll go over to buttons. You can see this is uh, mimicking that Stream Deck controller. Um, so right here, this clear all that's uh, connected to my ProPresenter. And you can see uh, it's just a ProPresenter clear all command. So you just add that in. You can, um, you can put images, you can change the background colors, text, all sorts of stuff. You can configure that button. So now when I hit that button, uh, it's just a clear all command. So like I said, I run three ProPresenters. I run one for uh, lower thirds for all of our lyrics over our video and our Bible verses. Uh, so that's one pro presenter that I control. Um, I also have a video pro presenter that plays all of our video content, our countdowns, any uh, in-gathering videos that we use. Uh, so I have a video clear option here. Uh, and I use, you can have several pages um, of controls. So I regularly will have several pages of these built out, uh, just depending on the day and the gathering and what I'm doing. Uh, I also have a third pro presenter that controls our LED wall on our stage. Here's a quick picture of our current stage design. Um, so you can see uh, that hope design is on our LED wall. So that's running off of a third pro presenter that I can control from the stream deck. And then like I mentioned, um, I can control our lighting uh, system. So when I don't have for some of our smaller events or whatever, if I don't have a lighting guy, um, I can just run some pre-built uh, lighting cues. So all these yellow are um, lighting cues that I can trigger right from that stream deck. And then I control our video switcher. So again, at some of our smaller um, events, um, I can control lights, video, and all of our pro presenters right from these buttons. Uh, typically what I do is I have to run audio. I'm a front of house engineer at the church, uh, but I also oversee the entire tech department. So if it's a smaller event um, and I don't have any staff or anybody with me, I can run audio, I can have this button controller right next to me, I can change lights, I can change cameras uh, real simply, and I can, you know, manipulate probes and or start videos. Um, you know, again, you can stack, uh, stack things. So let's say um, this right here is my announcement lighting. So when we have announcements, I, I hit this button. Uh, it'll run the command for the Grand MA to cue um, those lights for the announcements. 
And then I already have it set. Um, we have a, a series that we're currently doing. So on our LED wall, it'll trigger that Pro Presenter to put up the, uh, the series graphic on our LED wall at the exact same time. And then I could, um, you know, I could go to our video switcher, the ATEM, and I know that for announcements, I'm always going to use camera two, so I could change uh, and have it set input uh, two for the video switcher. So right now, when I press that one button, it's going to change my lights, it's going to change my LED wall, and it's going to change my video switcher to the appropriate camera. Uh, a lot of times, I will um, build a countdown button that will trigger the video for our countdown in ProPresenter. It'll also trigger the right input on our video switcher. Um, to, to actually display that video all with that one button press. So that's pretty handy. Just want to give you guys a quick overview of that and how we use it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I uh, run a website called technicallychurch.com. So if you guys are looking for any other uh, tutorials or just want to kind of see what we're doing, I try to post uh, some different fun things that we do. So uh, check us out there. Thanks.